Hello everyone and welcome back to tonight's stream. It's about 17.06 in the UK right now and the weather is dark, grey, ugh, nasty and wet with high winds of 70 miles per hour. And I'm going to be continuing on this little sketch that I started up yesterday. I've had a nice night's snooze and a good day's work to have a think about where I want to go. So I'm still going to be using the Faber-Castell uh, pit pens, the extra small and the small. So off we go.
Okay, uh, so how we're doing so far is I've just mapped in a little bit of the chest and got the second whisker, uh, main whisker in. My next aim is to get one of the front legs or both of the front legs done. Uh, just going to double check the positioning though of the shoulder blade because I my initial sketch was done within seconds so I didn't really pay that much attention to what I was doing. <laughs> so now I can come through and just properly map out different bits just using the light blue pencil. I just want to be a hundred percent happy with where everything's going to go before I go and put them down or map it out. Yep, I'm happy with that. Right, so back to the inking. There's, I've still got a huge amount of detail to add in to where I've been, but I think I'm just going to go through and do a base layer and then come back and do the detail into that. Otherwise it's going to take me forever. So, off we go again.
Okay, so uh, just doing another reassess, and I've decided that the curb on the back is way too sharp. Um, I need to bring this piece out here. So what I've got to do is rework the curve, probably up to this point instead of here, and twist it all around. So hopefully it'll be possible. So you can hopefully see whereabouts my blue lines are, where my um, rough guide lines were. So I'm going to be ignoring them and putting in some new ones. In fact, I'm just going to bring my Tombow razor in and just take out... Don't check, that's alright. Um, just take out a few of the blue lines here and there just to start cleaning up. Good thing is these won't photocopy so if I do photocopy this drawing which I probably will to put colour on I don't want to colour this original I'll definitely be colouring the copy. Um, when I go to photocopy the image the blue shouldn't come out onto the copy so it's just cleaning cleaning it up enough so that I can see what I'm doing without getting my uh, eyes distracted by the blue. Now where's Fluffy? Fluffy? Here we go, one Fluffy. Uh, you probably are noticing little orange spots here and there. Um, yeah, another reason for that I'll be copying the original. <laughs> um, let's just say I've literally put blood, sweat and tears into this drawing so far. And whoop, not even my uh, Tomo eraser can take out her uh, blood off of paper. I kind of had a a minor nosebleed while working away, but uh, it all adds to the character of the drawing, I think. So I'm just going to put in rework those lines. So instead of being up here, I'm going to want to swing them quite a fair bit out. Um, luckily I'm using quite a good size of A4 paper. But I still, I've got to remember that this is a cylindrical object. So that's going to have to come. And sometimes mapping in cylinders can help you keep the uh, distance just about right. Just means that my curvature of my spine is going to go slightly squiffy. Um, it's going to have to go up. And I'm going to have to bring the hip forward. That could mean it this area becomes a little bit more cluttered, so I need to really be careful where I'm putting that. Mind you, it started off as just a random sketch, so in theory, I should be able to pull something out of it. So that goes up. What goes up must come down. I might just have to have one loop of the tail, make it a tad tighter. Then that was going to go that. Still not 100% sure with the spine. 
Oh, that feels better. So just dull out a few of the construction lines. Yeah, that, that feels a bit better. Right. Onwards and upwards. So, new construction lines in, and now just to start re inking again.
Well, I uh, just give an update. Um, <laughs> something I've just realised. While I've been drawing this, because I get so used to using the extra small uh, pit pencil, I end up going into severely weeny, 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 weeny detail, and it's just suddenly occurred to me. How am I going to colour in the detail if it's weeny, 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 weeny? I didn't think of that, did I? Uh, cause I don't. I personally don't have any um, colour pit pens. Pens. I'm just wondering if my Copics could do it. Um, bear with me. I'll show you what I mean by weeny, 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 weeny. Focus. Um. These little uh, daisies just here. They are. Um, Give you an idea of scale. There's there's my little finger now. My finger's about a centimetre across. And that's the winny 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 daisy. If I touch you, I've just remembered I forgot them some leaves. That's the really nice thing about these pit pencils is that you can go gigantic with the chisel tip and the brush tip, and then you can go winny 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 with the um the extra small and the small. So uh yeah, I'm going to need to have a little thinky about what to colour in when I do a copy of this image. I'm most likely uh, feeling that I'm going to use my Copics. Now, the only reason I'm thinking Copics is because that brush tip is so nice. In fact, actually, while thinking about it, right, experiment time. Because, I mean, yes, I can blow this image up on a... Um, copier and stuff, but that kind of defeats the object of drawing it at the size. Mind you, I do not know why I draw things on small paper, I just like my small paper. Um, I just want to see how dinky-winky I can get the dots on a Copic. That's nice and dinky-winky. And with a brush. Oh yay. Yep. Yeah, it's going to be Copics doing the colouring. So that's the two teeny weeny weeny dots uh, and that's my nib size. Oh, I wish I could get the camera to focus. Um, we go about there isn't it? So I think this is going to be pretty comfortable. In fact let's do a teeny let's draw out a weeny 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 flower. Yeah, <laughs> it looks a bit like an ink dot, doesn't it? So here's our flower, as you can see. Yeah, I'm going to be using my copets to colour this. <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to do that with the Spectrum Noirs. In fact, I'm not even going to try with them. I've uh, been having a lot of difficulty with these sparkle pens lately, so we're just going to stick with the what we know. Right, so um, inking issue sorted. It's on with the inking.
Um, okay, sorry about that bit of a pause. I've just had some news. Um, right, I'm doing this for the record. Uh, basically, the time is 18.15 on the 9th of the 1st, 2018. And my brother's partner is just gone into hospital to be induced and kept in overnight with the expectancy of giving birth to a son in the near future. Oh my god. <laughs> oh jeez, sorry. Stre I've been so stressed about this. Um, wow. I'm going to be an auntie. Hopefully. <laughs> um, blimey. Right, uh, well, if I have to suddenly go, uh, that's going to be the reason why. So I'm now officially on standby with the rest of the family. Apparently everyone's been called round. So, um, because the hospital they're at is a good hour away from where we live. Um, oh jeez, I hope she's going to be alright. Right, positive thinking, everyone, positive thinking. <laughs> Blimey. <laughs> Ooh. I had I had a feeling it was gonna kick off today, so um I meant technically today was the day that the little one was gonna be born. Um but they've apparently decided to keep her overnight and they're going to start to induce which is gonna be interesting. I mean, I just hope that everybody is going to be alright. Uh, tell you what, I'm not going to sleep tonight. I'm just going to be upset watching the phone. <laughs> Apparently I've got to learn to um, reprogram another sat-nav. That's going to be fun. Uh. I really don't know what to do with myself right now. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm chuffed. I'm majorly chuffed that she's she's in hospital and she's safe and everything like that. But I guess I'm just exceptionally nervous for her. And uh, I mean, there are reasons I've got reasons which I am extremely nervous for her for. Um, but I shouldn't really be nervous. Mm. So uh, I don't know how long it's going to take. Um, I meant that uh, nature's had its chance to take its course, so I guess this is now up to medical science to decide how fast things move along. Gosh, I could be an auntie in an hour, or I could have been an auntie in 72 hours. Hmm. I'm glad I got tomorrow off. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, tomorrow's my official day off from work. I get a, a midday off now and then, so um, this is actually quite good timing. Ah, oh, right, on with the inking. Oh my goodness me. Woo as I say, right.
Okay, so we're just going to change pens from the extra small over to the small because I just want to put a little bit more definition in the grass. I'm not going to go any higher than the small pen uh, because this is, for me, it's quite a chunky nib and I don't want to lose any of the fine detail. So I'm just going to pick out a couple of areas. Which you're probably just going to need that little bit more definition and then I can come through with the smaller pen and just work in some more detail and then that'll blend the thicker pen in with the smaller pen. then back to the uh, extra small for the finer detail.
So just taking a quick photo of what I've done so far. Uh, the reason why I'll pause and literally on my phone I'll take a photo is this way I can assess the quality and make sure that at different angles the drawing is looking okay. And then that also means that I can quickly shove it online. I tend to make sure that people see the build up of a drawing, not just the end product and that way it can help people still think cool. I'd like a go at that. And to pick a pen and maybe just start going random. And da -da 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 -da. yep, that's good, I've got that. Um The only problem with phones, they take forever to sort out sometimes. Right? And then we stick a photo, and then we stick that there. So as you can see, I'm starting to add in different patterns and different flowers. So there's sunflowers, there's roses, there's holly, there's oak leaves, there's sycamore leaves in there. Uh, there's ivies, there's um, honesty. Honestly, there is honesty. <laughs> <laughs> that is a plant. In fact, the honesty plant, if um, you grow it, and what you can do is uh, the leaves, well, the bits that have the seeds in, you can dry out, and they almost go completely clear, and they're absolutely beautiful. Right, so with that done, we can crack on again. Right, that also gives my hands a little bit of a break and um, a bit of exercise from just constant pen work. So before I start doing pen work, I always kind of do stretches like that, or even just. And that way it's just making sure that my hands are nice and supple and flexible and doing what they should be doing. See? <laughs> right, enough of my hands jiggling around everywhere. Uh, back to the image. So I'm just going to come back to the blue pencil just to map out the second leg and just to realign and make sure that I've got the positioning right on that area.
Okay, so as you can see, I've just put in some teeny weeny 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 detail. So just bringing the camera back out, you can see hopefully that the detail that I've added around the face area has created uh, more pockets of dark and light, and that's going to be very important for when I'm coming through with the colour once I've copied it, of course, because this is going to be the master copy and then I'll take photocopies of this and I can put it onto more marker friendly paper. The Faber-Castell mixed media pad is nice and it does take markers but it does tend to kind of soak them up a bit. What I am also finding is uh, a bit like if you're drawing a canvas with a sharpie the texture of the paper is nibbling away and sanding down the pit pens nib a weeny bit so hopefully I've got enough power in this pen to do the whole drawing um, if not I'm gonna be running off down to Smith's to see if they've got any more tins of half price ones <laughs> or uh, I, mean, I don't like having to buy everything on Amazon I'd rather go into a physical shop so um yeah it's just literally uh, I've had a break from adding in the flowers and stuff so it's just now a case of adding more definition to the back leg, finishing off the tail, um, sorting out the other front leg which I think I'm going to have curved up and round but those things I can take my time with and just have a, a real good think before I 100% commit to those uh, changes. So if you've uh, enjoyed watching what I've been doing for the last two hours and you know you're always more than welcome to follow, hit like or um, I've got a link down below I believe to my YouTube channel. The whole recording of this will be going onto YouTube at um, some point and it'll be done in segments so yesterday's I think was a 30 minute uh, sketch kind of layout planning and getting down a rough idea and today has been a bit more about bulking out the initial drawing and for certain pieces adding in that key detail that helps define what the drawing is. So how long do I reckon this drawing is going to take? Um, well if this is after two hours I'm thinking so one, two probably around another four hours in all honesty. I'm not going to rush this because if I rush it I'm going to mess it up. And if I mess it up that's not really right. Uh, now I think I may have time actually I don't think I'm going to have any time tomorrow uh, to come back onto this because I've got other commitments. I have a life. Um, so could be looking at next week for the finishing uh, it's going to be about three, three two hour slots if I can but I may be able to fit something in in the meanwhile uh, it just depends I've, most of my week this week at work it's all eight hour shifts so I may have enough energy to pop in and do some work but I still have a lot of coursework that I also need to get done so priorities I'm doing this tonight because uh, I needed a break from the monodious typing. Just using hatching and cross hatching there just to add in the detail. And yep, time to put the pen down and take a step back. So I'm going to come back at this tomorrow, fresh set of eyes, and I'll clean out some more of the blue pencil marks, which are. Uh, if I bring this up you might be able to see kind of here and all in here um, those blue lines I'll take them out as best as I can and then once it's complete the photocopy uh, none of those blue lines will show up which is brilliant so I hope you've enjoyed this until next time please feel free to go and find that pencil find that pen a bit of paper and have a go and at the end of the day, the only limitation is your imagination. So please, all the best and happy drawing. <laughs>